With Cal leading 15-14 at the half, Thursday's game was looking eerily similar to last season, but Oregon came out in the second half and outscored the Golden Bears 29-0. The halftime adjustments seem to be the difference for the Ducks. We challenged them at halftime. You know, when those guys understand that there's 60 minutes to play a football game, I think the block field goal right at the end of the first half was a huge kind of momentum to bring us in the locker room. Anytime we get to keep points off the field, I mean, off the board, like I said, with that block field goal, and then when we come back and we put points on the board, our the momentum swings our way, our fans are into it. And I mean, when you're playing in Austin, once the fans get into it, it's a whole different game. And we said when we had an opportunity that we were going to put some pressure on them. And I think, you know, we didn't always get a sack, but we got some pretty good hits. It was 15-14, similar to the game last year. Reason though this year we weren't coming out and about the foe, he's going to come out, put the pedal on the metal. With the win over Arizona, the Beavers avoided tying the 1996 Jerry Pettibone squad season opening 0-5 mark. Still to come on ITP, the Beavers pieced together a running game against the Cats, made some special teams plays, and finally broke through for that elusive W. You know, we didn't let our record dictate how we played. We just played our game. And I just showed up on the field. Latest AP Top 25, Top 10 unchanged. Oregon still at number 9, Arizona State up to 18. Oregon State finally won its first game of the season, beating Arizona for the fifth time in six years. The Beavers were fired up for the game and left their emotions out on the field. Phil Milani has more from Corvallis. The Beavers' 37-27 victory came one day short of the anniversary of when Arizona safety Adam Hall knocked out James Rogers for the season. Those two rekindled their relationship in this game, so much so that tight end Joe Halahuni felt like he needed to get involved. I just didn't appreciate how he was talking to my teammates. You know, uh, I don't want to get a personal foul or I don't want to, you know, be the cheap guy, but uh, somebody's, you know, doing something too much to one of my teammates getting in their face. You know, I'm going to do something, but I'm going to say something. Um, I just gave him a little shove, you know, he needed to back up. As for quarterback Sean Mannion, he played his best game of the season. He threw for 267 yards, his fourth straight game over 200 yards, the best stretch for a Beaver quarterback since Sean Canfield did it seven straight times in 2009. I'm excited about his play. I thought his composure was awesome. I mean, he is a very interesting guy to talk to on the sidelines, very even keeled, and just listens and then asks some questions. and. You know, it's a, that's, a, I think, a great quality at that position. It feels great. Um, you know, the, the way our team just kept working through all that adversity, um, you know, and to come out here and get a, a good win against a great opponent like that, it just it feels it's a great feeling. The Beavers look to make it two in a row on Saturday when they host BYU here at Research Stadium. In Corvallis, I'm Phil Milani for Inside the Pack. Phil, thanks. When we return, we've got our shining stars of the weekend. Saturday scholars are coming up. That time of the show again. Before we go, we praise the stars of the weekend, Saturday Scholars, Nick. I guess I got to go. Sometimes it's painful to do this, but Nelson <laughs> Rosario, just a beast, a man amongst boys. This one, three catches for 120 yards and that one-handed monster claw, 58-yarder to really set up the, what would be the game. And a heart score. attack yeah. for you on Saturday oh, night. Oh, it was tough. Yeah. I had to walk away. Nate, what you got? I got DeAnthony Thomas. Did a lot of great things, catching the ball, running the ball. He had three touchdowns, two catching, one running. Tom, what do you got for us? I have got Lance Mitchell, the Beavers' senior safety. What a day he had against Arizona. Seven tackles, a pick, a fumble recovery, even caught a pass on the fake punt in the Beavers' first win of the season. Nate Costa joining us here on Inside the Pack. And Nate, uh, Arizona State comes to town. Big atmosphere here with ESPN's College Game Day. What's your take on the game? I think Arizona State's a very solid team. I expect them to... Get a lot of yards, score a lot of points. It's going to be a bend but don't break type of thing. Ducks are going to put a bunch of points on the board and come out on top. Yeah, because we have seen other D other offenses like Arizona, for example. They dropped a few balls, might have had more points in that game against Oregon. You're right. I wouldn't expect Arizona State to do those type of things, make those big mistakes, but they're going to get yards. They're going to score points. It's just not going to be enough. All right, Nick, Beavers make it two in a row against I BYU. Think so. Only putting up 18 points a game with those right. Cougars, so I think it'd be a right. good chance to get another one. All right, well, thanks to Nate Costa for joining us in, inside the pack, and thank you at home for watching. We'll see you next week.